Hello, once again, you are watching Viva. Are the airplanes you and I always use safe? A big steel manufacturer in Japan, Kobe Steel, has admitted to lying about the quality of the steel it produces. Now, while it may seem like a remote incident in a land far away from Malaysia, keep in mind that steel made by Kobe are used by countless brands to make airplanes and also cars. Manufacturers like Toyota, Honda, Mazda, Nissan, Ford and General Motors, even Boeing, use their steel to make their cars and planes. At this point, it is not known whether any affected products have reached Malaysia. Kobe Steel said its employees had actually altered inspection certificates for aluminum and copper products from September 2016 right up to August this year to mislead on qualities like the strength and stiffness of its products. The scandal is yet another that has rocked Japan. Recently, Nissan has admitted to skimping on vehicle inspections, while Mitsubishi and Suzuki have admitted to exaggerating on their vehicle's fuel consumption. Takata has admitted to making faulty airbags, which had contributed to more than a dozen deaths. These ongoing scandals amongst Japan's big manufacturers are threatening to make it lose out against rival China, who produces these goods at a cheaper price. Next, challenging economy? Nah, says the International Monetary Fund. IMF actually thinks that the global economy will grow more than initially expected this year and also next year. In its annual World Economic Outlook report, IMF raised its global growth forecast to 3.6% for this year and 3.7% for 2018. For context, the global economy grew 3.2% in 2016. The organization also said all the world's major economies are currently positive and growing. This echoes some reports that say that for the first time in many years, a lot of countries have all maintained good growing momentum, something that's actually quite a rarity. But this has not escaped criticism, of course, as there are some who question whether good GDP growth will actually trickle down to the common man and will help with things like increasing wages, decreasing living costs, and improve overall quality of life. Next, North Korean hackers have reportedly hacked into South Korean military systems and stole a bunch of classified military documents. A rep from South Korea's ruling party said 235 gigabytes of military documents were stolen. They include the South Korea-US wartime operational plan as well as a document detailing a plan to decapitate the North Korean leadership, i.e. removing North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in case war breaks out. Pyongyang, though, has denied involvement. After some time of tensions subsiding, let's hope that this issue won't revive tensions again and be a catalyst for yet another missile launch. And finally, more and more female celebrities are coming forth to share their stories of being sexually harassed by disgraced Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. The likes of Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie have joined a few others in sharing their own experiences. But a piece by Lena Dunham in the New York Times stood out in particular. Dunham not only focused on the harassment itself, but on the enabling silence of men around them. She shared how men have come to consider subtle acts of sexual harassment and discrimination as normal, especially in show business, from sexist stereotypes to women to saying that a woman must be up for anything in bed to climb up the ladder. Her message was is that this silence of the men is the enabler and what allows sexual harassment to continue for years on end without being reprimanded. Weinstein's case serves as a reminder for all of us in the workplace, no matter where you are, to be extra vigilant for acts of sexual harassment against women, especially subtle ones which have been normalised and not taken seriously. Do not normalise this and report instances of sexual harassment immediately before it becomes a culture. This is Viva. You are now up to speed.